What's up, guys? It's been a minute. I'm still here, though. I wanted to take some time and just jump on here completely raw, unedited, and just rap with you guys about the last couple of months. It has been a bit of a hurricane for a multitude of different reasons, and I feel like it was the middle of the year. We're going into the back half of 2022. I wanted to sort of look back at what we've done for the year so far and really look ahead at what we got going uh, for the rest of the year. But first, I owe you guys some explanations. There's some things that um, that I really need to you guys to understand of where I've been. That's, that's really what it's about. Um, so to give you the quick 20-second recap, um, after, what, two, two and a, almost two and a half years, I finally got COVID. The last videos you'll see here on the channel were me attending Cisco Live. Uh, back in June and part of the trip was me interacting with a lot of people doing a lot of interviews things like that uh, we did the hype video and we did the interview on the new FlexPod XCS technology and I started feeling symptoms the following Sunday I tested negative until Tuesday where I finally tested positive and by that time I had already broken one fever I th the sickness was not fun zero out of ten do not recommend uh, COVID-19. Um, it took a couple of weeks. It took at least 10 days to for that to run its course. It was not a pleasurable experience. I all but lost my voice. Sinuses were all stopped up. Uh, crazy fevers. I would woke up, wake up in sweats uh, in the middle of the night. It was, it was not a fun experience. Um, and that's what really started this kind of ball rolling of um, the content falling off and I want you guys to know that I recognize it and it's something that I have been chomping at the bit to get back to and this week starting with this video I owed you guys an update and an explanation and that's what we're doing um, but I can show you the entire list of videos that I have to make uh, for the rest of the year and frankly I've already got most of next year scheduled out as well or at least tentatively brainstormed uh, as far as that goes. So we're not doing an MCU kind of thing here, but we've got, I've got an idea of, of where I want to go with this stuff. Um, after COVID and after I got over the initial symptoms and I started to feel like myself, you may have heard the phrase long COVID. Um, I, I am still somewhat dealing with some fatigue on a daily basis. It doesn't go away. It sticks around and I'm st I still get to about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon most days and kind of hit a wall. And some of that is just normal. Some of that is just data center dudes getting up there. But a lot of it I had never felt before COVID. So there's some of that that's still going on as well. Couple that in with the July 4th holiday break. And it just I've lost. I had lost six weeks already. And I've spent the last couple of weeks really putting the ship back together in a way that I can start creating weekly content, if not more than that. I really want to get into TikToks more and shorts here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, this, this is, there's a whole roadmap of content that we've got going on. Uh, the NetApp Discord has really taken off. So if you're a NetApp fan, user, or employee, or partner, <coughs> please come and join it. It's discord.gg slash NetApp. Uh, we just kicked off the consolidation of what we affectionately know as the pub or netapp.io. That is the open source and kind of Linux Foundation CNCF arm of the company. So we've consolidated the pub into Discord now to really strengthen and bolster that community even further. That all happened last week. Uh, we're, we, we are knee deep in planning for VMware Explore or VMworld. It's all, it'll always be VMworld to me. They can call it whatever they want. It's always going to be VMworld. Uh, and then we've got NetApp Insight coming up the following month in October. So there's a lot going on uh, right now. There's going to be a truckload of content coming out of me, either on NetApp TV or right here on the YouTube channel uh, for the rest of the year around events alone, above and beyond my normal content that's going to be coming out on a, on a weekly basis. Um, I wanted to give you some highlights of what I'm going to be working on and just the short list of things that I have to do just in the next couple of months. Um, I'll give you a quick little teaser, though. I did mention the July 4th break. I'll just do a little bit of that right here. And, oh, shiny. Oh, new, fancy, right? We are gonna, I'm going to be making one of the uh, kind of sort of PC 
build hype videos going over that entire rig that uh, you just got a little sneak peek of. It's up and running, and I'm literally running it right now and recording this video uh, with OBS on that rig. It's 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 big. I'm not going to go into any, any of the specs right now. It was a ridiculous build. It's fully custom looped, water cooled, uh, and it is. I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. So that's going to be one of the first videos that we crank out over the next week or two. Um, so the, I call it Mega PC. It's it's Mega PC. If you hear me refer to Mega PC, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to do the build video for that one. Uh, a lot of you have been chomping at the bit for more Plex videos. I, I promise you, I have not done much more since that last video where uh, we did the introduction. Um, the server is still sitting right there on the cart crash cart. Um, it's it's running, um, but uh, there's there's a whole grip of Noctua fans and controllers and all of that kind of stuff that we're going to put in there. And I want to go completely over the build. Um, some things with Mega PC coming into the picture. Now I have an additional 2000 series NVIDIA GPU to put in there for transcoding. There, that's still coming, guys. And I know I've been dragging my feet on that one for a few months. Just competing priorities have held sway on, on the Plex stuff. But uh, I want to go over radar, sonar, metadata management, um, how I keep track of all of that stuff. Uh, migrations from uh, and around Synology of large m hundred, you know, what are we up to? 60 terabytes now uh, of that data set. There's a lot to talk about with Plex from a data management and an administrative perspective that uh, I want to share with you guys and how I keep things organized as someone that's been doing data management for 20 years, how I n build naming conventions and keep things in order and associate with Plex naming convention. There are so many lessons to learn just in general IT and server administration and storage administration uh, from doing something on the consumer side like Plex. You, you just, you really wouldn't believe it until I, I can't wait to show you that. Um, some good news, there are, what can I say? There are talks happening currently for a potential partnership with a server vendor. So yes, we might be one step closer to a official server of Data Center Dudes Data Center, meaning we can build some ESX environment, some VMware environment, uh, stand up vCenter, and look at doing some potentially some VMC to AWS migrations, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in order to facilitate that, uh, I have the electricians coming out this week to quote me on pulling two pairs of 220 for the racks dedicated. Uh, right now, there's a couple of 110 outlets. I can't run too many big things for too long because it's a shared circuit. Uh, in the whole studio here. So we're getting some dedicated 220 run for the racks to be dedicated. There's going to be some new PDUs going into the racks. We're going to film and make videos about all of this stuff, I promise you. But we got to have the power in order to run the big boy stuff, right? Uh, the A250, when I turn it on, is running great. No problems with that. We are three steps into the journey. The last video we did there was upgrading all of the firmware, um, the SP, other than other, all that stuff and the next step is to show you the on tap upgrade but before we get there i want to show you guys what it's like as a netapp customer to go through your initial uh onboarding so to speak uh what it's like to go in and set up your support account uh configure auto supports your phone home of all of your configuration and support tickets and things like that um, I want to show you guys how all of that works. So in order to facilitate that, I've been working with our support services uh, at NetApp to build a dummy corporation called Data, Centers, Data Center Dude Studios LLC. And we're going to put the systems that I have underneath that, and we're going to be able to look at active IQ data. We're going to be able to, if, if there's ever a failed disk, it'll trigger an auto support ticket, all of that stuff. So I want to go through the whole onboarding process with you guys. For those of you that are uh, with Net uh, or familiar with NetApp or want to learn, that's going to be one of the big things uh, there. We've almost got that stuff built out, so we're about ready to start filming that. And lastly, I've gotten some new stuff. Um, I'm, you're, I'm looking at one of them right now. I did pick up one of the Elgato face cams. So I'm very excited to show that to you guys. Uh, it is incredible. If you look at the field of view, it's 83 degree. It's near 90 degree field of view, which is incredible for uh, a webcam. That I think the pr retail price on it's $170. And it's one USB cable. No stands, no nothing. It has a quarter 20 on the bottom of it as well. So you can put it on a tripod. Uh, you can still capture audio separately and still use it. It's 60 frames per second. 
and I don't have to touch any of my fancy camera gear uh, to be able to use this. It just sits on top of a monitor, or you can put it on a tripod, or you can secure it to anything that goes on to a, that supports a quarter, quarter twenty mount for any camera gear. So it's universal. Elgato face case. It's it's absolutely brilliant. And I've got one little five percent key light on me right now. That's it. So if you're looking for a webcam, uh, we're definitely going to go over that. I'm going to make a video of my kind of review and reactions over it. I also got one of the low profile arms finally from Elgato. They were both in stock and I was ready to get one and make a video. So we're going to unbox that. It's here. Lots of stuff coming, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing an update to my new NetApp video from a couple of years ago. Um, when was that? 2020, May of 2021, a little over a year ago now. Um, we're going to be going over that. Uh, I'm going to do some iterative updates on some of the new acquisitions that NetApp has made. So Filament and InstaCluster and CloudChecker, all of that stuff. We're going to be going over all of that. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here. Thank you guys for bearing with me the last couple of months, but things are about to ramp up again very soon. We'll see you next time. Take care.